Okay, so let's draw the mechanism of this more difficult reaction, right? So, and this organic reaction, right? Just like all organic reactions, what type of molecules do we have to have? Nucleophile and electrophile. A nucleophile and an electrophile. Everybody can answer if you want. No, you don't have to be shy. So, which one of these is the nucleophile and which one's the electrophile? Yeah, the nitrogen. Okay, in fact, nitrogens with lone pairs are often good nucleophiles. Okay, so that kind of brings up a good point. This is a nucleophile. So, what do nucleophiles do? They do what? They attack a positive charge. Okay, so they attack. They don't. Uh, they don't usually take anything unless it's a proton. That's the only time they take anything. I think we've talked about that, so make sure you remember that. Nucleophiles like to attack positive charges. Where are the two, well, I gave it away, but where are the positive charges over here? Help me box them in. Um, With that, we're not going to draw any resonance structures, okay? The double so what do we call that? The carbonyl, carbonyl carbon. And the beta carbon. And the beta carbon of the alpha, beta, and saturated carbonyl. Very good. Okay. Which one of these, so this, if that's the nucleophile, this molecule must be the what? Electrophile. Electrophile. Okay, and where does this molecule, the nucleophile, attack the electrophile? Is it at this carbon? No, uh -huh, it's at the other one. So I'm going to erase these little green boxes, since we know now. And I want you to help me draw the mechanism. Okay, guys? Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, so where will we start our arrow from? The double bond, or the lone pair. The lone pair nitrogen, right? The nitrogen lone pair. And where do we go to? This is the beta carbon. The beta carbon, like that. What an arrow. Is that it? No. What else do we do? The double bond. Two. The carbon carbonyl. This one, okay. Remember, we're making a double bond, so we have to show that bond being, or that arrow moving in between the two carbons, okay? If we show it to here, that's wrong, okay? Or if we show it to here, that's just saying we put the lone pair there, okay? Is that all we have to do? No. We still got to do one more thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's your first three step, or your th first three arrow mechanisms. Notice how there's an electron flow going from the nucleophile to the, the final negative charge, okay? So remember, something has to push the electrons to make them get going, okay? In this case, the nucleophile is so reactive, right, it's going to react with that beta carbon and knock those um, electrons up to the uh, electronegative oxygen. Yes? Um, well, you mentioned before that the carbonyl would have a positive and then the beta would have a positive. If there is no double bond there, does that rule still apply or is that only if there's a complex? Does not apply anymore, right? So if you have a non-alpha beta unsaturated, so just a regular carbonyl, like a regular ketone, the beta carbon here is not electrophilic anymore. Or not, yeah, not electrophilic anymore. Just the, this carbonyl carbon. So the alpha carbon is the carbonyl? The alpha carbon would be this carbon here, okay? That's the alpha carbon. The carbonyl is where we're referencing them all from. So alpha means one away from that functional group, okay? The beta means two away. It's the Greek alphabet. So the alpha carbon is one away from the functional group? Uh-huh, yeah. So oftentimes, uh, and Another functional group you'll hear about a lot, it's kind of a more advanced functional group where you've got the alkene and an alpha-beta uh, arrangement next to a carbonyl. We call that an alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl. Okay. So the, um, the beta carbon is electrophile? It's electrophilic as well, yeah. And in this particular problem, it is the electrophilic carbon. It's the one that the nucleophile is attacking. It's not always, though. Like, 
Uh, it's always electrophilic, but it doesn't always have to be the one that's reacted with. Okay. okay? Like you could potentially imagine the carbonyl carbon being reacted with too. It's just we had a product here that showed that it reacted with that beta carbon. Okay. That's a good question. Any other questions? Okay, wonderful.